Rupert Patrick is a man on a mission. He's attempting to bring back to life a lost classic blended whiskey that has not been produced since the 1940s. Today is the crucial test of the new blended whiskey that Rupert and Norman have spent the last nine months creating. Rupert takes the same group of experts who first tasted the lost bottle to compare the new blend with the old classic. So Tom, what, what, what do you think? Well, there's a freshness, there's a real vibrancy to it. And Dave? Oh, I get, yeah, yeah, I always agree, agree with you there, Tom. You know, it's got that, that fresh, it's a kind of really kind of fresh cereal character mm -hmm. to it as well. Uh, this, I think it would be kind of a good old fashioned, uh, I think you could lengthen it, it would be great highball material mm -hmm. as well. I, I, I find it lingers on the palate as well, mm -hmm. as the other one did. The water just, I uh, think, adds the texture. It yeah. just adds that. It's got the alcohol down and just lets and it's got salt, it's getting quite kind of thick character in the middle, so it just yeah, pauses yeah. for a second in, in, in the middle of the tongue, and then you get this lovely kind of vanilla softness coming through. The, the smoke is fantastically balanced. Yeah. yeah, really well balanced. Norman, I love, as you know, P.T. Isla whiskies. I'm yeah, a yeah. fan of those whiskies, but I also love classic space sides. Mm. And the joy about blending is that you can bring them both together. So, Norman, we're, we are happy with this. It's, it is wonderful. But I'm just remembering back now to the 1940s or thereabouts bottling. How do you see these two side by side, you know, and, and how do you compare them? There's a touch of peat there, there's a sweetness there. Main difference is probably distillation is different, uh, cereals are different, yeasts are different, and wood types are completely different. Yeah. I think it's uh, it's a sort of younger sibling of the of the uh, yeah, original, yeah, yeah, yeah. and um, you know the original that we had, whenever it was, uh, from so sherried, so big and fruity and sort of fruitcake character, and this is lighter. This is a more year-round whisky. The previous one was a Christmas one. Mm. You'd have a, a dram of it and really enjoy it, mm. but whether you'd have a second one or not, mm. I'd want to drink it every day where hopefully this mm. falls into that category. Mm. With both you've got a soft peatiness coming through, but you've got juiciness, you've got more elegant notes coming, and a real kind of round, well harmonised range, range of flavours. It's delicious. It's a delicious Yeah, whiskey. I think that, that's Absolutely. a very simple word, but it's delicious a good one. For whiskey, yeah. if, if, Congratulations. Good well, yeah. cheers everybody. Yeah. Slander. 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 Cheers, Norman. Well done. So with the panel of experts satisfied, Rupert has one more hurdle he has to overcome. What will the Edie family think of the new blend?